Hello guys and welcome to the 13th episode of the second season of Minecraft with Mods. Today it's time to continue with the bees. I have done the research I needed to research and it's time for us to make some random machines like the carpenter. The carpenter is something that needs 6 bronze and of course 8 bronze. So we'll need 14 bronze in total and 2 glass. 14 bronze, thank you. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. We can fix this easily using our last basic logistic pipe. Using two more gems, you probably already know what I'm doing. I've done this a ton, a thousand times already. And request one of these things. Hmm, what would I be making? I also need three copper and a tin. If you do not know now, well then you probably haven't watched the other episodes. Well, right there, there's the system. So you should know right now. I've also added the fence recipe, and yeah, you've already seen all these things. So let's add the carpenter. Well, not the carpenter. We want to add copper and tin. This is what we want to add. So we don't have to make it all the time. Neat, huh? Okay, let's get upstairs and produce ourselves a carpenter. But first we need 14 of some kind. What kind would it be? Yes, we can now officially make these things. Yeah, nice, huh? I like it. So we got 14 in our mining back, of course. And the rest end up here. Or here, oh nice, we have one left there, so that's cool, that's neat. Um, 14, so one to make something called a sturdy machine and the others for the machine itself. Why would we need a carpenter if we would like to, I need two glass, if we would like to go with bees because a carpenter doesn't seem like, well, bee needing. Well yeah, you're probably true about that, but there's something about the carpenter that we need to make. So that's why we do need a carpenter. The only problem is the carpenter needs, well, power to be able to run. So we will have to connect this temporarily to a system somewhere around here. Um, I'm still thinking about how I want to do this because, well, it's only temporary, so I don't want to make something fancy. I just want to make something, well, normal, I guess. Um, what I'll do, um, my carpenter needs water too, so I'll place it here, so, no, I'm not, I won't place it here, I'll place it here. That way it has water as a first ingredient. Main task of carpenter is the compression of your su surplus resources. Many bulk blocks and items can be packaged into crates, so that's cool, didn't know that one. Um, I want to Change the actions, restricted, private, cool. Um, so now we only need energy. And how are we gonna supply the energy? Well, we have pipelines, don't we? So let's go over here to our requester and request us some pipelines. What we'd like to have is some gold conductives, all three. And there they are. No need for us to go chesting. Um, what I'd like to do is mine up a floor. I'm gonna have to mine it up. Twice. Oh, might just not have enough pipeline. That sucks. I have a better idea. Mm, give me the. I want you to resupply, but I want at least one cobblestone. Thank you. So, um, what I do is something like this. I know only the middle one is connected, but that's not bad because right now. Hmm. I only need to activate the middle one, do I? Yeah, that could be neat, that could be working actually. Really fine, the water is filled, and now we just need a recipe. So yeah, let's get ourselves a recipe going. I'm gonna need upside to get myself my recipe. Starting with four tin, a diamond, two redstone, let's sort this, two redstone, 
and some gloss. Six to be exact. In fact, we don't need gloss, we need gloss paints. Cool. Let's get downstairs and get the system running. We won't need too much of a power, so I'm first gonna make the recipe. Something like... Oh. It's no energy costing, right? Oh yeah, but it will take the... Yeah, yeah, now I understand. It's not... It's logical. It makes sense. The redstone... Something like this will make myself a... And now I just need some power. So let's get powering. Oh, wait. How am I gonna power this machine? Well, normally I'd power through here because now there's a pipeline there. So what I guess I'll do... I'll power it like this. Should work. Okay, and we're getting power. Slowly but surely, the machine is being created. Hopefully it won't take too long of a time. Actually, if I look at the forestry Minecraft wiki, like forestry.sengi.net, all these pictures are other than my GUIs. I mean, they must like be improved or something, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we need to wait until that thing is done. And then we will have the nice bee alizer. That's decent. Also something I want to make for the beekeeping thing is a... Well... I need some bee combs for that first, and I also like a centrifuge, so we can make that thing, that's not that difficult. And we will need it eventually, so... Oh, and a centrifuge also needs the power, so we're probably gonna... Well, have to make something that is just more than random like the thing we just made like right here this is this is random we all know it i mean if you look at it we both know it's random i mean this just this pipeline system i'm gonna need a new and better pipeline system so right now i'll, I'll power i'll power the um yeah right now i'll, I'll power my power 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 i'll Power, yeah, that's what I want. Power. I'll power my um, machine using. Oh, cool. So we got three forest drones and a forest princess and some honeycomb. So the first thing I'd like to do. Where's my bealizer? Right here. Well, I can't use my bealizer unless I have something better than coomp. So what I'll do is I'll make these guys have another lifespan. And here, exactly the same, another meadow span. And I got some of these guys now. Let's check up over there and then make our um, centrifuge. It looks difficult, the centrifuge, but it's not. It's it's actually really easy to use. Um, the Winter Queen is still living and oh my god, he kicked a lot of frozen comp. Well, something I do know about the Winter Queen, because it creates that much of a, a comp, is that it will be a fast worker. So one of the Bealizer aspects, as you can see right here, will be that the Wintry Princess, the Wintry thing, is a fast worker. So what I'd like to do is I'd combine the fast worker with any other species, and hopefully they will be a mutation, so the other species are also like faster in their working. So that's basically the whole thing around beekeeping. Nice, huh? Well, let's get that centrifuge going. I'll need... Well... I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need some materials first, obviously. I'm gonna need... 14 of these again. And two gloss. Why, I, why does it seem like I know that recipe? The carpenter was exactly the same, wasn't it? What? Oh crap, we need copper now. Oh well. I would have made another carpent mate another carpenter. So now I need to go into my mining bag. And pull out six well, pull out everything. And I only need eight. Well, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? And I need six of these guys and two gloss. And they should work out fine. Okay, so let's make the centrifuge thing. 
You've got to be kidding me, right? Always forgetting something. You've got to be kidding me. That was epic. Um, made the same recipe three times because I'm stupid. Makes herself a little nice centrifuge. Nice. Cool, huh? Okay. So what are we going to do with the temporary centrifuge until next episode? Because next episode we're going to make a better system than the whole pipeline is stupid system right here. To actually begin with making that system, I could do that right now. I grab my things and I delete this whole part. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, I don't really need this part anymore. So I can delete it, right? I want to use this pipelines for other crap. So that's why. Oh, what the hell happens? What the fuck? How did that just happen? Well, I don't want to lose this oil, so I'm going to keep it for now. Maybe I can analyze it later. Um, oh, that's not what I want. Well, in fact, I want. I like it. Um, oh my god, inventory full. Where's my mining? Where's my alchemy bag? There's some crap I don't need at the moment, like mining rods and all these scoop things and my destruction catalysts and some wood and, oh i do the cobblestone um the valve pipe the conductives i need the conductives my chainsaw my nano saber all stuff i don't need okay so in fact i want to place these three things back cool and what i also want to do is get my cobblestone out and well, actually, let myself request uh, a stack of cobble here, because I'm I'm too lazy to walk upstairs to get my cobblestone. So I like a stack, please. That's gonna be slow if it just goes like this. Resupply mode. I like you a lot. It will only go to 64 and then it will be saved into my supply bag. Okay, so gold ingots, cool. So now I can fill this thing up and make this thing look a little bit nicer because right now it's noobish. It looks noob. And I don't want things to look noob. So we fix things. Actually, these needs to be conductives. This can go. Um, well... They don't really need water at the moment. This one does. So what we can do is delete this one and place a golden conductive there. And that's basically all we need to have power on all three machines. I only need, of course, two levers. Well, I could use another lever, actually. I'll come back. Let's make a couple of levers. Okay, so let's place these levers on here so we can activate that system and the carpenter Well, we don't really need the carpenter at the moment. So goodbye carpenter What I do need is my centrifuge And the centrifuge doesn't need water so Well, these power lines can go away That's that's for later for in a minute. I'm not gonna delete it. So the centrifuge. This is the centrifuge. It has no recipe Net recipe? Why would I need a recipe? <laughs> and this thing requires energy. And the owner is me. Cool. So let's place those frozen comms in there and activate some power. How much power would I need? Well, let's activate all of them so this thing goes fast. Oh, too fast for me. I get snowballs, crystalline pollen, and beeswax. Okay, cool. Honey drop. Lots of cool stuff at the moment. Some more beeswax. I like. Well, actually, I should. Yeah, I can do all the cooms right now. I need honey drop to analyze my bees using the beelizer, so that's why I'm actually waiting until everything is done here. I get lots of beeswax. And why? Well, how can you. What can you use beeswax for? 
You can actually use beeswax for a lot of things. You can, for example, use it to make something very cool that we need. I'm gonna show you right now. Beeswax can, used, can be used as pipe waterproof. So that's cool. Because we kind of need that waterproof thing, don't we? It can also be used to make a glistering melon. Or it can be used to make honey, honeyed slices, which is also really good. Because that's a better form of bread right now. So we can make a system that goes automatically. Then wax capsule. You can also make capsules with it to put stuff in. Except lava, of course, because that will smelt it. And that is basically all we need for now, except we could use an apiary chest later on in the game. But that's all for later. And you guys can stop producing stuff. You still have water enough, you're still in good mode. And I have all I need to go upstairs and analyze my bees using the beelizer and actually sleep a bit. You've got to be kidding me, where's my sword? One more time. I do not want bees in my fucking house. Okay. So that's really cool. Let's go check up on the beelizer. But first, before we go check up on the beelizer, let's um, let's go get our. What the hell are you doing in my house? I'm looking at you, so you come kill me, okay? Come kill me, yeah, come kill me. Teleport to me, please. To me. Where the hell did he go? Stupid monsters. Okay, so honeycomb and the forest queen is still. Quite of a lifespan, it's not even produced anything here. Uh, but over there, this guy should be already dead by now. To prevent my apiary from exploding, I just killed that creeper. Wow, how the hell am I gonna put all this crap away? I just said to prevent from exploding, and then the thing exploded. So that is, you have got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, my beeswax and my wintry princess and all that cool stuff can go up there. Um, well, yeah, let's fix this thing first. Let's fix it hard mode because, well, yeah. I got really lucky that I actually didn't got my apiary blown up, because that would suck. Okay, so let's plant some saplings. So to get rid of it, and... more flowers around the place. And drop all this other crap, I don't totally not need that at the moment, thank you very much. Okay, so let's in, get into the bee thing. And actually, for now, I don't really want another queen here. As a matter of fact, I'd like all my bees back, so I can experiment with them. Okay, so let's get this thing open. So what I need is some honey drop, and my wintry princess. Let's analyze the thing. So the lifespan is uh, short. It's a wintry wintry, so it's a it's a full breed. It's a it's not like some semi breed. It has a fertility of four um, drones, which means that if it dies, it will spawn four wintry drones, which happened. Yeah, it happened. So it affects a 9x3x9 nine nine area, and the effect is freezing. What is... I don't really understand that effect, but let's check. The climate is icy. The temperature is good. What does that red thing mean? I don't know. I should check up. Um, nocturnal, no. It doesn't work at night. It doesn't work in case. So let's check this thing. The possible produce is these combs, it does not have any specialty. And the possible mutations, we do not know that yet. So we'll have to mutate them around to check. Okay, that's very cool. So let's now check up on the forest drone, for example. This life and this forest forest, also a full breed, is shorter lifespan, slowest speed, needs flowers, fertility of three, no effects, normal, produces these combs and the possible mutations. Okay, let's try if we have some 
a, this is, the wintry princess is actually a slower worker and that's what i think is weird because i got quite a lot of honeycombs from it if you compare it to the slowest workers the forest roads so let's take a wintry princess and a forest drone and look what we get we, well we get obviously a wintry princess because the princess will always be the breed a wintry queen yeah that's what i meant so actually yeah we'll have to wait until the queen dies off to know what um well what in between breedings we will have generated okay so let's get over to the upstairs and do some well do some breeding like interbreeding i think it's called yeah interbreeding Ooh, sounds weird okay interbreeding of some animals wait what happened to my oh the honey drop stays in there that's cool um so let's check up here they are not died yet they have not died yet but we can check up on the drones so wintry drone well we already know what a wintry drone is oh the wintry drones can be different in between can they yeah they can let's analyze all the wintry drones not the wintry drone what the hell okay so now we have the meadows drone what the hell is the meadows it's also full breed meadows meadows shorter slower slower it's, it has flowers the fertility of two no effect normal reducing no specialty okay that's cool so now we have only one forest drone to check up on oh well that's cool so now we have a lot of drones around and not really anything to do it and we also have crystalline pollen which i have no idea what they do so what i should check up is maybe we should make a hmm not really we could make an easy habitat locator that might be um that might be close to like check where they want to live but not that we need that but no yeah we had we don't really need it so i'm not gonna make it uh we could make a real analyzer well i guess i'm gonna make an apiarist chest and then just do some interbreeds i need five cooms for that and i don't have five cooms so i'm gonna have to wait a bit until i get more honeycombs how are they doing here another honeycomb thank you nothing yet um okay well he's almost dead so um let's uh, go smelt our frozen cooms check up what the hell we can do with these crystalline pollen and then probably one of them will already die or have died so let's do these frozen cooms oh wait this works without energy oh well we don't really need tree machines do we this goes fast enough thank you so we got two beeswax which we do not really need at the moment but we could use it to make um well some stuff in the future and actually i'm gonna kill this ugly thing in front of our house because the beeswax well we can use beeswax now so i'm gonna make a forestry chest well actually i think we can do that right now before i end the episode um let's make another iron chest and make it our forestry chests um i need some food before i do that so basically the forestry chests where would i put the forestry chest though i'm gonna put it maybe here yeah maybe right there there will the forestry chest forestry chest be so eight of these and a normal chest which i still have and actually while we add it i'd like to make some of yeah i can't make that right i forgot about it okay so right now i need to induct these first oh well they will end up here in a minute um so right now i think i'll drop off all my stuff i do not need at the moment well just for the sake i'm gonna put these things myself in um 
it doesn't know where to put all these things so that's why I'm having to put oh the chest I need still no I yeah I do I do need the chest still um, let's check up this and empty this out and this and this and actually all that a lot of crap well for now I'm gonna have to put all this in here Let's make that apiary's chest, and, and I can add it to the system then later on. You've already seen that a couple of times, so I'm not gonna show you again because that might be getting boring then. So let's put the apiary's chest. Let's move it. I want to move it. I want to have the thing right here. And while I'm at it, why not go through the floor already, so I don't have to do it in a minute. I need some sign. saying forestry chest forestry chest the the stay things are because I press my um, my mouse keys and that's from the uh, doggy talents thing so nothing to worry about um, misc junk it does fit in there want to keep my torches close to me and actually let's empty the back I don't really need catalyst and all that right now. Uh, all these are analyzed. My divining rods, I don't really need my divining rod. Unless I go mining, I don't need my client star. The mining laser is also something I do not need. I do need two st these two bags here though. And I don't need this. Well, actually I do. Okay, so let's get upstairs and check how the bees are doing. Hopefully some of them will have died already. Yes, they have forest drone, a whole lot of forest shit. And these have died too, which allows us to check up on the queens. So meadows, meadows, normal, normal. Okay, so this one is analyzed. The forest princess, forest prin oh yeah, forest princess is analyzed too. Nothing special. Okay, so let's interbreed them. Let's right here put a forest princess with a. Um, forests drone. No, that's not. That's not interbreeding. With a meadows drone. Cool. And right here we can make a meadows drone with a wintry drone because the wintry drone are good are better workers. And before I end here, I'm gonna check up on the over there. Hopefully they have died off. I really, I really hope they will. Um, no, they won't. Still have half their half their life left. Um. I'm gonna be making more, some more honeycomb, um, some more honey drops, I mean, because, well, I need honey drops to analyze, so that's what I'm gonna be doing in between videos, and hopefully start a new one soon, and, um, well, not do too much of bees anymore, like, just leave and be and go check up every once in a while, and before we end, I like to know what the hell the crystalline pollen does no crystalline pollen or anything crystalline item crystalline pollen yes that one this item is obtained by 70 vjs in the frozen cups with a 20 percent chance and it's used in the production of a curative meat in an infuser okay that makes potions so curative meat is a weak alcoholic beverage that refills one food point. Okay. <laughs> so basically that makes alcohol. Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, so the crystalline pollen make alcohol. So not that we need alcohol, so I'm gonna put all that crap in the chests. I might actually, I'm gonna put these in here for now until I have enough coomb to produce what I need to produce. So I thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.